of the successive 5-0 defeats on the road, Rotherham returned to home comforts of sorts. Not that things have been a great deal better at the New York Stadium either. 20 points and safety at the foot of the table. Huddersfield Town and the visitors this afternoon, backed by a sold-out away end. They look to boost their own survival hopes. They fell into the Championship's final relegation spot for the first time since September after back-to-back -back losses, but they sit just a point behind Birmingham and Queen's Park Rangers. Andre Brighton writer insists this fixture isn't a knockout game, but it does still carry huge significance. One win, one draw and two defeats so far since he was named as Darren Moore's Huddersfield replacement. Defeat today would equal the Millers club record of 10 successive league defeats, also in the championship, set back in 2017. All of the stats make for pretty grim reading for the Rotherham supporters. Head coach Liam Richardson already says he's looking to a rebuild for next season. He does have previous, leading Wigan to promotion two years ago. Or gives chase and then forces the mistake from the Rotherham defender. Threads it through for Rodoni, who shoots straight at the goalkeeper. A little pirouette as he got into the area there. Jack Rodoni has five goals to his name so far this season. Couldn't find a corner though, and it was a comfortable save in the end. Morrison's long throw, headed away to the edge of the box. It's picked up by Rinomoto, who has a go, it's off the post. What an opportunity. And Andy Rinomoto could not have come any closer. Going to go back over three years since he scored his last goal, that was for Reading. Cardiff Loney off the inside of the post, and Lee Nichols has beaten all ends up there as he got the better. Nicoldoni. Richardson arrived with Rotherham already in a perilous position this season. Rowan has taken and it's a foul there and a free kick. And a dangerous opportunity from a set piece. The German, the third permanent manager in charge of Huddersfield this season. Looking for a flick on, and it came at the near post. And in the end, it's wide at that post. He struggled to create clear-cut chances in this game. Huddersfield Town against the leakiest defence, not just in the Championship, but the whole of English football. This goes through everybody. Virgil. Rotherham got bodies in the way. Huddersfield have to settle for a corner. The Dutchman has seven goals to his name this season. The corner is played in, headed back down and straight at the goalkeeper. Hogg was waiting in the box. Johansson makes it look easy in the end. Header and struck goalwards by David Kasumi. Kasumi does well to keep the ball in play. Doesn't have many options but manages to skip into the area. Good run too. Referee gives a free kick the other way. Kasumi adamant it should have been a penalty. Bit of afters with Morrison there as well. And he's given a booking. Tricks. I doubt the Rotherham players would have a part in mouth moment there for a few seconds when the whistle blew. Most field players wearing black armbands in tribute to Steve Smith this afternoon. Played, managed, and worked for the club passed away earlier this week at the age of 77. Kiosa. Kiosa manages to get a dangerous looking cross in as well. 
And it was whipped in with such pace. So Revin arriving in the area, had to hit this one first time. In the end, it was way off target as the two fullbacks combined. Got to go back to Boxing Day. Rotherham United's last victory. Cross took a deflection, but cleared away by Cafu and the shot high over the crossbar. And they're lacking a bit of quality with the finish this afternoon. It was lashed at there. Bergsorg over the bar, did open the scoring against West Brom on Sunday. They were 1-0 up at half-time in that game, Huddersfield, but capitulated to a 4-1 defeat. As Thomas chases the ball down, and Hanson alert to it and clears outside his area, and well, Sorba Thomas took his protest too far, and he goes into the book. A couple of bookings for Huddersfield players for... Moments of frustration, first off, looking for simulation as well. Cafu with the kind of cross-field ball that his namesake would have been happy with. And as they go through on goal there, Thomas brings him down and the Huddersfield Town players in trouble already on a booking. He's shown a red card and we've not even reached the hour march. A huge, huge dent in Huddersfield's hopes of winning at the league's bottom club. And having been booked for descent earlier, it was a needless challenge, really. Despite his protests, the foul on Rathbone earns the first ever red card. Cafu's free kick. Nichols was stretching. Nottingham Forest playing not too far away with that one. 13 league matches without a victory. 10 defeats in that run. Free kick is given the other way this time. Huddersfield want to take it quickly. And there's players calling for the ball. Momentarily Rotherham switch off, but the effort lacked any power or conviction. Supporters not happy, but they play to the whistle. And Rodoni shot, and troubling the keeper in the end. Eleven. Left footed delivery hanged into the box. It's knocked down by Wake. Another effort on target, but another effort straight at the keeper. This time it's Ollie Rathbone. Scored some important goals for Rotherham over the years. It sets up for him. Morrison's throw. Heads it back with interest. And the game of head tennis since shoes now as 10-man Huddersfield hold on. And Nichols comes and collides with his own player there as he goes for the ball. In the end, it's a frustrating afternoon for Huddersfield Town. An anti-climax in front of their huge travelling support. Rotherham's first point in ten matches at least ends their losing run. The result means Huddersfield remain in the bottom three, albeit they move level on points with Birmingham City. Big game to come now against the FA Cup semi-finalists Coventry after the international break. And it finishes here. Rotherham United nil. And Yorkshire rivals Huddersfield Town nil.